Hey golfers, PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb with another segment of Teaching with Technology and today we're going to talk about the most desired shot in golf for most amateur golfers and that is the nice high draw and how things like technology and flight scope can help me as an instructor really diagnose and understand what is going on at the moment of impact. Now, the first thing you need to know is that there's one key relationship that dictates any curve in the golf ball assuming we're hitting the golf ball in the center of the club face and that is the relationship between the path which is basically the direction the club is swinging at the moment of impact which we're going to represent here today by the hula hoop and also the club face what is the club face doing where is it pointed at that moment of impact now let me first of all say this that there's a multitude of things that can really impact the club face position and the path position. And those are things, of course, that you're going to want to work with your instructor on. But today's purpose is to help us understand what is that key relationship. Now, if you want to hit a nice high draw, the first thing you got to do for a right-handed golfer is we've got to get a path, the hula hoop here, the direction the club is swinging slightly to the right. Now, most of the time when I'm looking at my flight scope, the best players I have, if they're hitting a nice high draw, they've got a path a direction that's swinging anywhere from two to four or five degrees to the right. They combine that with a club face that is slightly open to the target line. So the club face might be one or two degrees open or to the right. So when we look at that relationship, we have a path that's let's say four degrees to the right. We have a club face that's two degrees to the right. The difference between those two is roughly two degrees that means we're going to get a shot that starts to the right of the target and draws back to the target. So when we're looking at curve, we're looking at the relationship between the path and the club face. Now, the beauty with technology and using my flight scope is that there is no guessing. You cannot, as an instructor, look at a swing and diagnose right down to the basically the degree, the direction the club is traveling. But with flight scope and technology, there is no guessing. So if I've got a golfer and they're not drawing the ball, I immediately know, is it a path issue or is it a face issue? And then as an instructor, I can go in and dive into their golf swing and make the necessary changes that we need to. So the purpose of today and what I want you to take away from this is if you want to draw the golf ball, you'd want a path to the right, you want to face it slightly to the right, things like technology can allow us to diagnose that and know exactly what it is and you want to work with your instructor to figure out the best way to do that.